This is my story Am I to be left to a life of half a hope? Nowhere to go, no place to carve my name And I don't ask for much But don't underestimate the simple power that comes from our lives when we prevail and now there's a choice to make my life is not what i thought it would be growing up in a crowded city with open sewers and unsafe streets one of the earliest memories is my mom and my dad telling me that I have to drop out of school. Me, who loved learning, the boy who consumed every book he could find, had to stop school because there wasn't enough money. My parents are some of the hardest working people I know, but it was never quite enough. And sometimes the debts grew, or sometimes the meals didn't come. I had dreams of science and physics, of soccer and sports championships, of building a safe, strong home. But I resigned myself to the fact that I would work manually in the fields or on the roads. When ICM gave me and my family a different path, it altered our lives forever. I was privileged to sing and perform, to give a voice to kids like me and share our stories with thousands of people. I graduated college majoring in science education. Then I came to Hong Kong and now I work every day to advocate for ICM's work. When I was just a boy, there was a man I looked up to. His name was Peter Fry. He worked with ICM and he invested in my life. I dreamed that one day I would be like him. And now, I am doing the job he did 10 years ago, working to share ICM's story and bring hope. I needed someone to dream with me, to believe in me, to inspire hope, and to empower change. And so today, I stand in front of you, the boy who saw no future, in front of CEOs and influential leaders, asking you to do the same, to inspire hope and to empower change for the next boy just like me. My name is Daryl, and this is my story. <laughs>